Hi guys and welcome to our latest video. We are here in Kelshall in Hertfordshire touring a fabulous new client's home and I can't wait to get into it but before we do don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything that you want to see in future. So you're going to see we are in this absolutely stunning space flooded with natural light from the two skylights above me and the views from this kitchen are one of the best I've ever seen. We'll show you the views but as always, we're gonna start behind us with the island. So you're gonna notice there's two different worktops on this island. We've got this lovely 30 centimeter Calicutta gold quartz top, which has this lovely gold veining in it, but a creamy white base. And then we've got something a bit different, a stark contrast, and this is compact ice black. It's been built up to 50 mil, um, and it's got a down sand down to the floor. So this is a lovely uh, area where you can perch with a, with a stool and have sort of an informal breakfast uh, area in the morning. We've set it up with a glass of rosé because it's sunny outside, but uh, yeah, usually used for breakfast. The colours used in this kitchen are Farrow and Ball Cornforth White, and then we have on the island Farrow and Ball Off Black. Uh, this is a traditional in-frame kitchen with an 8mm quirk bead and traditional 70mm uh, rails and styles shaker doors. So, as usual, we'll take you around the kitchen with all the different units. So we're starting here at the end of this run. We've got a double door breakfast larder in sort of a dresser format. So it's a dresser unit, comes down, worktop runs all the way through. And as you can see here, clients got all their uh, coffee machine, toaster, breakfast style pantry. Uh, sometimes it's pocket door with drawers below. This is uh, more of a traditional setup. You can see here, um, lovely oak veneer internals, um, slightly thicker oak shelving. Um, you can see here all the breakfast stuffs. Uh, client has just moved in, so it's not completely uh, packed yet but there is lots of storage in this kitchen uh, led spotlights above warm white you'll notice that uh, below this we've got a storage unit uh, dovetail oak drawer boxes you can see here this is divided for cutlery and um, they've got some placemats in there and then below we've just got double door storage uh, lovely clients opted for brass handles uh, just picking up on that sort of navy brass um, off-white it's a very very uh, traditional but still uh, contemporary color scheme color palette Coming through here, we have a 300 mil wide unit and it's got a vertical baking tray and chopping board dividers. Um, we've got amazing views out onto the garden here, lots of natural light flooding in uh, that frames the sink area really nicely. So on the left of the sink, we've got the bin. Uh, centrally here, we've got a, a two part sink, two bowl sink with a Kuka Pro 3 fusion tap. Uh, so as normal, normal hot and cold water. And then we've got your boiling water in an instant there. And I mean, you can't ask for a better view while doing the washing up, genuinely. Uh, we have the dishwasher here. It's a Neff dishwasher, standard under sink storage of items. And then coming round onto the corner, we have another uh, 300 mil baking tray divider unit. Uh, interesting choice here. We've got a little uh, hook for tea towels that the clients put on here and some double sockets in the end panels as well. Coming round here, a small area, but nice glazed shaker door uh, unit. So we've got uh, the client's lovely glassware in there that is lit and it has a glass shelf internally so that that light permeates all the way through. It's two separate units. This one runs into the corner, so you're maximizing that space. Uh, we've got upstands coming round. Again, we've got this incredible mantle unit. So this is a traditional mantle. We, make, we form the whole thing. And either side of this in the boxing, we've got story. So the client's opted to store their oils, olive oil, etc., and spices in the other one. You can see here, we've got this Calicutta gold, beautiful splashback or full cladding behind the hob area. Now, traditionally with mantles, you form it either side of a range cooker, like an Argra or a Conch. In this case, we've actually got sort of a more modern aesthetic with a Miele induction hob uh, with the extractor built into the mantle here. So underneath is free for storage. So we have actually got uh, internally divided for utensils really really nice this must be a 1300 wide drawer we've got uh, spatulas and mixing bits and all sorts absolutely perfect um, just to the left of this we've got just a normal double door cupboard and then behind me is the main working side of the island so we have a Miele warming drawer 290 centimeter warming drawer that is framed by in-frame cabinets all around it we have a drawer underneath and we've got more dovetail oak drawer boxes here. So small internal drawer, bin bags, tin foil, cling film, etc. And then two equally spaced drawers below, cutlery, bowls, etc. And below the hob on this side, plenty of storage for uh, baking um, dishes and for pots and pans, etc. On the other side of the hob area, we have a double door unit. Uh, clients using it for sort of more baking wares. And then we get on to the main cooling section of the kitchen where we have the Fisher & Paykel 900, 900 millimeter 
uh, American style fridge freezer. So you can see this is integrated. We've made the doors um, for the fascias of this fridge to match the surround everything else. So double door fridge. I absolutely love this fridge every time I see it. So we've got glass uh, shelves and drawers internally, super practical. Re everything's very accessible, absolutely love it. And then below here, you've got a single freezer drawer. Um, initially very skeptical about the size of the freezer drawer, but I've confirmed with the client, it is actually much more spacious than it appears. You can get lots of stuff in here and it even has two internal drawers above there to put ice cube, wine cooler, things. It's, it's an amazing bit of kit. Last unit before we turn the corner, we've got a really small, narrow 200 mil area. We've actually formed a, an ice shaker door. It's pushed to open because we didn't want the handle to clash with anything on this side and it's just fully shelved. We've got dishes, we've got uh, Pyrex uh, mixing bowls, etc. Then we've got the oven area, two Neff ovens. These are your slide and hide models. So we've got two of those. Usually above, we've just got some storage, uh, the um, spurs for electrics are above there. And then below, we've got a drawer, again, just for oven trays, etc. And this is my favorite part of any kitchen. Initially, when I came here, opening doors, seeing what was what, I thought this was a very large fridge, or I didn't even know what it was. But no, this is a secret walkthrough door, but I think this is probably the best one we've ever done. So you can see here, all the detailing, it's super, super clean. We've mitered the, um, the pinth at low level, made the top fascia rail fixed, so everything looks like it's a shaker door. And then we open this up here, got a magnet on the other side to keep everything in place. And we have this beautiful walk-in pantry area. So you can see open shelving, quite narrow, but everything that you can need in here. We've got uh, units at low level, and then we've actually got a, uh, an extra freezer here and a microwave with a little wine rack. So honestly, can't ask more than that. Plenty of storage. So listen, that is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.